Google I.O. has given us an early look at the next Android update, which for now is being labelled simply as Android L. We may not know what L stands for yet, but here are 10 things we do know about Google's newest mobile OS. If you're using a stock version of Android, there'll be no shortage of visual changes on the way to your phone. Google's calling it the material design approach. The UI takes the Google Now card system and adds depth, shadows and more to the layout, and app elements are able to slide into and on top of one another. New on-screen navigation buttons are there too. The new design element is meant to give users visual clues as to how things work. Each app element has an elevation level that decides how high it can float over information panels, with on-screen cues letting you know when a press has registered. Android L also adds seams and real-time shadows to panes as they slide about. And this isn't just for Android either. Google wants to roll this design ethic out across all its products. The notification system is finally getting a serious spruce up, transforming the dull grey list into a card-based tile system that's fully accessible from the lock screen. The fancy new notifications pop out and expand using the new 3D layers and shadows, looking vastly more impressive than they ever did in KitKat. There's also a miniature heads-up notification, which adds a live notification overlay to apps running in full screen mode without interrupting what you're doing. The company reckons users could see up to 90 minutes of extra uptime on the Nexus 5 thanks to Volta and additional battery and power management tools. Devs will also be able to access a feature called Battery Historian, which allows them to see how much power apps are consuming. Now this is a very clever idea. The new personal unlocking feature has the ability to learn where you are and what other devices you use, and even use your voice print as a way of verifying you as the owner of the device. Once activated, your phone can figure out whether it's you using it, in the place you usually use it, and in the way you usually use it, and bypass the pin-protected lock screen to get you straight into the device. Google's finally looking at ways to link its Chrome OS ambitions with Android more deeply, and with Android L, devices are able to tell a Chromebook a user is nearby and log them in automatically, again doing away with the need for a password. Much like iOS 8 and OS 10 Yosemite, Chrome OS will also be able to display SMS and call notifications on a Chromebook, as well as pop-up warnings to tell you when your phone is running out of battery. Google is completely redesigning the search features within Android L, bringing a look more in line with Google Now cards to web searches. Results are displayed in a rich card format, complete with animations and shrinking header tabs, with Google proudly claiming it uses 60 frames per second animations to transition between web page elements. An image carousel automatically pulls out visual results, while results related to apps you've installed open within the relevant applications. Android L brings changes to the recent app's multitasking menu in more than one way. It's been given a complete visual overhaul for a start, which gives it more of a Rolodex look with shadows and perspective elements, and recent Chrome tabs also appear in the list. This big under the bonnet change won't make much difference to the way the phone actually operates, although Google is claiming an up to double performance boost could be seen in some situations. Switching from the long-running Dalvik runtime to the experimental art option will also make everything more memory efficient, and it's fully 64-bit compatible. The Android for Work system allows users to separate work app data from home app data. The program is coming in the autumn, with some features also set to appear on older Android versions. On top of this, Samsung's Knock Workplace Security Tool is also coming to Android L and will be integrated into Google's core code. For more on Android L and all the latest news out of Google I.O. 2014, keep it locked to TechRadar.